This is Bob Chambers, the Multimedia Guy, and in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to navigate through a Best 10 software program. And as you can see, the uh, title here, Best 10 Connector Software, it has been made with the Best 10 Software Maker. The title of this specific software is uh, My Special Software. Down in here, this is the description of what this software would be doing. And this is a sample, so it's not uh, really uh, exactly what this software is going to look like. If this information is longer than what uh, shows in this window, then there would be a scroll bar here, and you could actually scroll down to read the rest of it. Let's get started by clicking here to start. And the first thing we see is we're on Google. And this happens to be just because of this software. It could be any website because the way the Best 10 software works is that it takes you via your computer and your internet connection directly to the software, uh, the websites that are a part of this software. We have a choice of 10 softwares and each of them are controlled by one of these buttons. So if we go over the button, uh, because of the what's happening with my camera, you can't see the tooltip, but this would tell you what that site is. Now here's Google. Let's just go to um, use the buttons that you see here, and I'm actually navigating in real time on the internet. And of course over here, if I wanted to go back, this is going back to the previous page, and this is uh, going to the next page. So I can navigate back and forth when I'm actually on one of these web pages. The next step is what happens if I've got a membership site? Let's just go to a membership site. Here is uh, I Love Hits, which is a membership site. And we can actually enter our membership data into this site that by using this uh, padlock. Just click on the padlock and Below, this actually came up down at the bottom of the of the picture, and uh, the way my camera is set up right now, you can't see the bottom of it. The camera is only covering about 50 or 60 percent of the window that we're actually using. First step is you need to create a master password. So click here, and here's your master password. And I'm just going to type in one, and uh, click create, and um, as you can see here, it was created, so I say OK. Now I can go in here and I can put in a username, and I'm just going to type in a simple one. And as you can see, you can actually go to the clipboard and um, get that information. So if you put it on your clipboard, then you could paste it in there. And then I'll put in a... Uh, simple password. Now I can put in notes in here. Uh, this is my login information. And you could all uh, put information about the, uh, the website itself and click there. And um, we seem to be getting our information under Windows, but that's okay. Click there. And so we've now got that. We can click there. Now Provided we had put in correct username and password, when we negotiate, uh, come down to this web page, it would actually log us in. And so we'd be right there, be able to take that. Over here, you can go to uh, free information. By clicking this, you'd be taken to uh, something that is provided by the creator of this ebook, or the uh, software rather that is uh, free. It'll actually take you to a web page with uh, something that is provided to you free. Now, this option here, sometimes some of the software will not have this option uh, live and some will. Let me just click on it and you can see, let's bring this up here, these are the site links that we're using in this software, sample software. And here, of course, is up in here is the website itself, the URL, and here's the title. And of course, the person could make any title that they'd like. Uh, let me just show you. I can actually, because this software 
this application happened to allow me to modify this, I could put in here, this is my home page. And so you can see I could actually change that so that when I would go to, and this is number five, if I went over to number five, the tooltip would say, this is my home page. I'm going to close that so I don't change that. So that this option may or may not be active on the software that you're looking at. If you want to reload the current web page, you can click right here. And if you want to stop loading it, you can uh, stop browsing by clicking here. Let's just scroll or move the camera really down here a little bit further. And uh, here is the information uh, that when you click on this, this is, uh, actually plays this video. And uh, this allows us to move the software window around and here this one here allows you to either maximize it and uh, what this did is is went beyond where the camera is right now or I can min uh, bring it back to the same size and of course this one allows you to find out what version of the software that you're actually using you see it says my special software which is what was on our, our front page and the version numbers so we just close right there, and that gives you a quick tour of the software. If you would like to, uh, one other item, you can actually click here to move the software into your system tray. And, and that is how you use a best 10 type software program.